this is Wade and we today we're doing a, we're trimming out this window that has a radius arch uh, across the top of it. I'm going to show you how to figure that out. Uh, how to figure out how to make how to do that arch. Um, the first thing we need to do is we're going to do a little bit of math and we need to know the distance from this point to this point and we figured that out to be 58 and 7 eighths of an inch and then we need to figure out the height of the line between those two points up to the top of that arch. And that is seven and a half inches to the top of that arch. So in the next scene, I'm gonna show you the math for how, for how to work that out. Okay. All right, so here's, here's the math. You want to think of that uh, radius arch as being part of an entire circle. So we've drawn an entire circle, and we know we're, we're dealing with this little part of it right here. I know my height was seven, seven and a half inches, and then the distance across there was 58 and 7 eighths, or 58.875. So we've got to use a little bit of uh, uh, geometry here. We, we can make a right triangle here, so we know that's a right triangle, and then we can connect this with this down here. Sorry my uh, drawing skills are, uh, they suffer a little bit. Now because we have a right triangle here, this entire thing, and we also have a right triangle here, and they're a part of the same circle, uh, we know that they are that their uh, proportions are the same. So we know that the proportion, I'm gonna call this little part here A, this little line from here to here, A. I'm gonna call this B, there to there. And I'm gonna call the point from here to here, C. And what we know is, again, because they're both right triangles in the same circle, uh, the proportion of A to B is gonna be the same as uh, B to C. So, first of all, B would be uh, half of the total distance there, right? So it'd be uh, 29, 29 and 7 sixteenths, whatever that is, I'll figure it out in a minute. But So I know that the, the ratio of A to B equals the ratio of B to C. So if I say 7.5 over 29, and 7 16, which is 0.4 something, e is equal to uh, 29.4, whatever that is. Uh, you'll want to be a little more specific when you actually go to do the math, um, over C. And C, we don't know what C is, so we've got to figure out what C is. So the, the way that we do that is we, uh, we can cross cancel or we can, we can get C by itself. So if I, if I multiply both sides by C, I get C over here, and then if I want to get this over here, I'm going to flip that um, and, and uh, divide by it over here. So that means I'm going to have C is equal to 29.4 times, remember we flipped them because we're dividing, 29.4 over 7.5, and that will give us C. Once you get C, so you, do, you, you multiply 29.4 times 29.4, and then you'll divide that by uh, 7.5. Once you get C, that's the distance between here and here, you're going to want to add A to it, and that will give you the, your, the entire diameter of that circle. So you'd go C plus A, and you divide that by 2 to find the radius. Okay? And so once we, have, once we have the radius, we can set up and make uh, sort of a little jig um, to help us draw the arc onto uh, some material. And I'll show you that in just a second. Okay, so after we did that math, now we know our radius. Um, 
I, I found that the radius was 61.5 inches. So I've laid down this sheet of material from which I'm going to cut uh, my arch top header. And then uh, I got a, just a piece of wood, something halfway solid. You could use MDF or whatever you have. You can either, even use strings and stuff, but this, this is just a little easier. So I screwed it in down there so that I have a pivot point. From the pivot point, I measure out here what I found my radius to be, which is 61.5 inches. And then I made another hole up here, which is 5 and 7 eighths inches away. That just happens to be the height that I'm making my headers. So first you make a hole uh, distance from your screw the same as what you found your radius to be, uh, doing the math. And then just add another hole away from that, however high you're planning on making your, your trim piece. And then all, all it is is uh, bring it down here. I've got a pencil. I drilled these holes in so that I could put a pencil on. And then uh, let me get some lead out. And then you're just going to draw your. Uh, it's really easy to do. And it follow it. It uh, makes a perfect a perfect radius, and then it's uh, fairly easy to cut out, and all, all of that. And that's it.